I have a grade four glioblastoma multiform. Mean. It's an aggressive, incurable form of brain cancer. And, you know, I was told that I had five to eight months without treatment and possibly wouldn't survive a year even if I had treatment. And in April of last year, I celebrated my sixth year. So I'm doing really good. My tumor remains stable. I am amazed that I did what I did and I never would have thought prior to getting sick that I had that much strength. The thing I regret the most is that and is the hardest thing about getting sick is when you have kids because you can't be the mom that you thought you were that you wanted to be because you're trying to stay alive. I always get emotional when it comes to Sarah, really, because that is the hardest part. And when I was, when I first found out I had a brain tumor, I, Sarah and my husband brought me to the ER and uh, they said, you know, you have a large mass in your brain and it was my birthday. It had just become my birthday. And I had had my mom come and pick up uh, Sarah at the hospital and take her home because she had school the next day. And uh, when she woke up the next morning, I thought, oh, we've got to tell her, we've got to tell her, because she didn't know. And she came down the stairs and she said, you know, happy birthday, mommy. And it was so sweet and it was so sad. And that was tough because in her mind, it was my birthday and it was, Every year, her and her friends made me a card, and uh, that year was no exception. She came home with the card uh, because I didn't tell her until after school because, uh, you know, she knew about cancer, and so it was hard to tell her that I had cancer because in our family, when you have cancer, you die, and uh, she was 12, and I thought that was tough. That was a really tough time. Don't make me cry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> Don't make me cry. Physically, I've had lots of differences. You know, I've had lots of changes. You know, I have, uh, because of the brain radiation, I have a bald spot on my head. So I have to wear a little hair thing just to cover it. So that if the wind blows, nobody sees that I have a bald spot on my head. But that's easy. Um, you know, I'm, I've had a lot of side effects from treatment, but I'm doing really good, so I, can't, I just can't complain. Well, since I, my daughter's in school and I'm home, my favorite thing, the highlight of my day, is walking my dog Shelby. I just love walking her in the neighborhood. It's just, I love it. And I look forward to it every day. And I know she does, too. You know, people can only be with you. As it, It's hard to be with somebody who's sick, who's bedridden, and who can't do anything but lay in bed. It's hard for the caregiver to stay there all the time and be with you, but a dog doesn't care. I had another pet, too, who was really... <laughs> I had another dog that was really a huge part of my recovery. And she died last year. But when I was really, when I was really sick and I was in bed and I couldn't get out of bed at all, she would lay with me. And so I really credit her with um, helping me get through my treatment. She was 14, so it was just, Sarah went back to school and then a month later, my, my dog died. And so it was really, it was pretty difficult last year. So now I think that's why I really value my time walking Shelby. I just, you know, it's the highlight of my day.